Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look on the gold market. Uh, gold stubbornly keep showing significantly less volatility compared to the forex market. Mostly stands flat and even yesterday reaction on gross domestic product release was relatively uh, really uh, well moderate. So we do not see any big shift. So currently um, the performance that we see here in the intraday charts, I'm still thinking that uh, it seems that the chance on downward continuation here is a bit better it's just because on the, by looking at the performance of the euro currency we see some activity on other markets particularly speaking on um, s p as i said today something should happen just because market is coiling around forming the hand shoulders on follow them from chart and everybody waits for uh consumption expenditures today consumer uh, pce core pc uh, inflation indicator that's favored for fed so additionally on the japanese yen we have the jump of the united states dollar strength is because the bank of japan holds the same policy without any changes you could see what's going on some dollar strength here on the euro currency all situations stands a bit bearish so all this stuff makes me think that we have really well lack of the clear patterns on the coal market it seems that well chances to reach 1955 seems a bit better than the sharp reversal and upward continuation as we said yesterday on the daily chart everything stands the same mostly patterns are valid and they are not completed yet but on the follow time from chart we could uh well at least take into consideration the new pattern so on the follow time from chart that's the pattern that might be formed we prefer to see stronger and more direct action with the butterflies especially in this part and here is it's a bit choppy as you can see it's a very choppy action stance but mostly it seems that downside actions here stands more or less strong and i think that this butterfly might be formed in particular by this butterfly market could finalize the both minimum targets on the daily chart because take a look the butterfly target actually envelops 1955 support and stands around the strong confluence on the for our time from chart 1940 1955 two targets 1942 and 1957 so both of them actually well mostly agrees with the same support area and whatever target market will complete if even it will be just the nearest ending 1957 mostly we could say that our reaction and 30 percent retracement that we're watching for in the daily chart will be done so because market will appear very close to the first first fib support that's but but in particular what we could uh, keep an eye on today's session and then we will see what will happen because market needs some time for analysis so probably they need to sleep with these new numbers and gross domestic product additional statistics that we will get today next week it's already in the middle of the week on tuesday thursday uh, tuesday wednesday so it will be already fed statement fed meeting so as you can see the really fast changing of the situation uh, is happening right now that's um, actually what we could consider today on the goal so if you would like to take the short position you probably could use the butterfly for position taking or even um, well trying to place maybe stops slightly closer to the current position maybe above even this top or even above this one should be enough for trying to make the position on the call performance so um at least at this moment i would better to follow the bearish context rather than considering taking any long position in the current moment i do not want to buy gold right now uh, just making taking into consideration that the performance of the forex market uh, overall sentiment right here uh, s&p index and uh all common statistics so for me uh, current situation is, well stands a bit more in favor of the some downside continuation although this continuation might be not really very impressive so even if it will stand just for a 20 dollars per contract so let's see uh, how data will impact on the market performance late in the session.